The situation, however, is worse in the north, where ice sheets would cover whole countries like Canada and Germany. Hello, my condemned victims. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. So, before we get into today's video, I wanted to address the rumors that I died? Creator Ant may have died on screen on his last video. The YouTuber has vanished from his channel without explanation. I don't, I don't know, but people are saying that he died. People are saying he's dead. This guy, he's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this just in, Insider confirms Ant's death. I'm alive, my dudes. So with being a virus, I know that's a bit controversial, but you know what I mean. I was just too tired after the whole choking thing. You know, it wasn't in the context I usually like it. But I survived. And I have, of course, a new plan. It's funny how some distance makes everything seem small. And the fears that once controlled me can't get to me at all. It's time to see what I can do. To test the limits and break through. No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free! Ha! <laughs> that rhyme. But yeah, the idea today is opposite of last. Instead of hot, we're making everything frozen. An ice age is a long period of decrease in temperatures on Earth, which results in the expansion of ice sheets and glaciers. Ice ages happen when regular changes in the Earth's tilt and orbit combine to affect which areas on Earth get more or less solar radiation. When the Northern Hemisphere gets less radiation and temperatures fail to go above freezing in summer, an ice age can be started. Now, we should be getting into an ice age as we speak, but humans made damn sure we didn't by putting almost as much CO2 in the atmosphere as white men in positions of power. You see, it's normal that the concentration of CO2 varies between 250 to 300 ppm in interglacial periods to lower rates during ice ages. Before the industrial era, the concentration of CO2 was at 280 ppm. At 240 ppm, we would already have the start of a new ice age. Guess where we're at now? 400 ppm. The highest in the last almost million years. <laughs> God, you guys are fucked. Air. Huh? All around me are familiar faces. A new ice age starts. Calculating consequences. Oof. For a minute there, I thought you were going Gladys on me. Action! Let's up tilt and eccentricity first. We had enough CO2 last episode. I don't want to bore you guys to death. The first consequences of an ice age is the temperature drop. There would be an average worldwide drop of 5 degrees Celsius compared to now. Which is 41 degrees Fahrenheit for those 4% of the world population who refuse to accept the majority ruling of Celsius. While 5 degrees Celsius may not sound like a lot, it would in fact have great effects on the world. Ice sheets would grow from Earth's poles with the ice in the southern hemisphere reaching Australia and Patagonia. The situation, however, is worse in the north, where ice sheets would cover whole countries like Canada and Germany. Things would be worse in the north, because the lack of landmass in the southern hemisphere means that the ocean dampens the effects of solar radiation changes. In the north, glaciers can grow to over 3.5 kilometers thick, and overall sea levels drop up to 120 meters. All of this causes drastic changes on the world's geography. While large extensions of land get fully covered by ice, making for great losses of agricultural land, the drop in sea levels reveals land that was previously covered by water, connecting islands to continents such as Tasmania to Australia and Sri Lanka to Asia. The land reveal, however, is not enough to make up for the land loss to ice. That causes mass migration of people from the north and from the extreme south towards the tropics. That means a lot of people coming from <laughs> Europe to Africa. And we all know how well that went last time. <laughs> a 
And yeah. then the world will have so much ice that it'll reflect the sun, making the climate even colder. And things will get colder and colder and colder. And finally, all humanity will perish. Err. Uh, I can't say that I'm surprised. No. Huh? Err, the ice would not cover the whole earth. There would still be places with available land for people to live and grow food. Error, the temperatures wouldn't be so low in the whole world. Close to the tropics, a 5 degrees Celsius drop means an average of about 15 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius throughout the year. Error, due to the previous facts, the ice does not reflect all sunlight, meaning that climate would not, in fact, get colder and colder and colder. Error, an ice age doesn't happen overnight. The process takes thousands of years, which means humans can adapt. Error, people have already survived an ice age before, as cavemen. You done yet? Because you can't possibly think I still don't know something's gonna go wrong with the plan. It happens every freaking time. If you remember, I can still lower the CO2. What the fuck? Maybe the touchscreen is broken? <sighs> So sorry, guys. I, I think SC broke. I, I might need some new parts. Humans are currently highly skilled in emitting CO2. Without active initiations to decrease emission or remove CO2 from the atmosphere, the parameter cannot be changed. God damn it! What the fuck is wrong with you today, SC? Hey, guys. So things got a bit out of hand before, but I feel much better now. I really do. It sure would help if my computer decided to actually, like, I don't know, do her job and be thankful to the one who rescued her from the trash. But I guess you can't have everything, can you? Whatever. Like this video and subscribe to the channel to support me because I'm clearly alone here. If you have any ideas for my plans, leave it in the comments below or reach me on Instagram. It'll be nice to have someone actually caring. It's been a pleasure trying to slaughter your kind and see you next time. And after that, hopefully, Never again. <laughs>